Hello friends and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. I'm officially super excited because we are back with another art video. We got a canvas, a brush, paint, more paint, more brushes, water and a palette. And this is everything an artist needs. Well, we do need imagination, but good thing is that we already have a picture of Mirabelle painted on this canvas. So here is the canvas. We also have a plastic easel, paint, and a brush. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'll be using this brush. I'll be honest with you, I would not recommend you using this brush either. But we can use the other side to mix the paints. The colors that were provided in the set are black, brown, purple, teal, orange, yellow, and fuchsia. I'll do my best using mostly colors from the set, but I do have a feeling that I may use some of my paints also. And here are the paints. I love how nice and fresh they are. All right, let's go ahead and start by coloring Mirabelle's skirt. I decided to use some of my acrylic paints and add more color. Next I'm gonna take this lighter gray paint and even though Mirabelle's top is white, technically we still need to add some color because of the shadows. Next I'm gonna use this fuchsia hot pink color and paint butterfly on her shoulder as well as some other accessories and details that require this color. So let's go ahead and move on to yellow color. Alright, next color, let's go with purple. You know what I noticed that we don't have blue color and it's very important because let's say these flowers are supposed to be blue and of course her beautiful earrings are royal blue. Well I do have perfect color match for her earrings and I think I have a perfect color in this paint set. Next, let's go ahead and paint Mirabelle's hair. So I thought this color is black, actually it's dark brown and it's a perfect color for her hair. Next, let's go ahead and paint her skin. We have this beautiful color. I may also add a lighter and darker tones for highlights and shadows. I actually forgot to paint her brows, so I'm using the same darker brown color as I used for her hair. Another thing I noticed that we don't have this nice light green color, like lime color, for her eyeglasses frames. But good thing I have it in my set. 
I'll use the same light green color and add some more details to her outfit as well as butterflies and flowers around. Moving on to her royal blue earrings. close to be finished next I'm going to add Mirabella's lips very carefully because some of the details are so 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 tiny and I clearly had way too much coffee because my hands are shaking <laughs> I haven't decided what color I want this butterfly to be so I guess I'm just going to mix a bunch of colors that came with the set All the details are finished, but I'm not sure I want to leave the background white. So I think I am going to use either this light blue or this light green color. And very, very lightly adding lots of water, color the background. It. Look, we still have lots of paint left so I can save this paint and reuse it in future. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.